and we are the new, <laughs> new faces, new people, uh, <laughs> not corrupted, you know, fight corruption, fight, you know, all these things, oligarchies. The, 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 the thing is, I don't think you can, I don't think he will, he will be able to, he won't be able to um, fight corruption and oligarchy under the um, close um, uh, governing the of the Troika. The supervision of the IMF, right? Because this is, when you say memorandum, it, this is what we know in the West as the conditionalities, right? The letter of intent, that's the memorandum. Okay, now maybe you also tell us as we go about where these parties are in the polls, to the extent we have polls. I know the polls are used by the reactionaries. How about popular unity? Now, this is the, the left-wing split off from Syriza, right? The ones that want to be you know, really anti-austerity or more yes. anti-austerity. Some th there was a new poll today showing them um, near the percentage that they could not get in parliament, but most polls show them around four or five percent. Now, I believe that's not right because um, the major pool of undecided voters are people that voted for Syriza in the, previous, uh, in the previous elections. So these undecided voters will either go to Syriza or the popular unity. Now, this is going to, this is going to um, um, the, the question is, what party will come first? Because there's a 50 seat bonus. And right. there, are, there are around the same percentage. New Democracy and Syriza are around um, near uh, are near to each other, and Syriza seems like it's gonna uh, it's gonna win, and I think it's gonna win, but the undecided voters will split between Syriza and Popular Unity, obviously. So I think that Syriza will be the the winner, and Popular Unity will get something around eight percent, which is very good, because what we need right now is a, a true anti memorandum, anti bailout, anti austerity party inside parliament to present a viable, a reliable uh, alternative to, this, um, to these policies. Now, question, uh, in order to get into the parliament, what percentage do you have to have? 3%. It's 3% of the vote. Okay, the 3% hurdle. All right, now, how about New Democracy? What are they saying? New Democracy is saying we should have a national unity government to have stability. In other words, the, the main thing is stability. Everyone wants stability. Every member, every bailout, austerity-loving party wants stability. What's stability? Stability is um, a consensus uh, of the oligarchy, a uh, unity of the oligarchy, to impose, to have a steady four-year government to impose austerity <laughs> and keep, keep uh, the euro in place, which is the weapon of um, keeping inequalities and the oligarchy in place. Uh, okay. So now, how about let me? Do, we got to go fast now because we're running out of time. How about the River Party that you alerted us to? The River Party is saying the same things. Well, it's the same. We, uh, you should reinforce us to help uh, bring stability to a new government. In other words, have a government with stability and our fresh ideas, which are not fresh, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This how about the how about the fascists of the Golden Dawn? They they have no program. No program. Kick out, kick out the kick out the the you know the foreigners. The foreigners. Yeah. Okay. The that. refugees. The refugees caused the crisis. Yes. The, the, Sounds the, like Donald the, Trump. Are they are they for Donald Trump? Maybe. Yeah, Who knows? Maybe. 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 How about now the the independent Greeks? Right. That was the defense minister, the heavy set guy. And they were the coalition yeah. partners. What's their story? Yes. They are they are running. Um, um, give us the force to help Syriza. Actually, <laughs> we like Syriza, and we want the Syriza government because the rest of them are corrupt. It's the same story. And actually, so, uh, Panos Kamenos, the the leader of the party, the head of the party, but, um, the independent Greeks, is being used as a someone who blames. Um, the conservatives for corruption. He he works for Tsipras actually. 
it's very obvious right now. All right, so a, a best case scenario would be what? A Syriza government with popular unity in it or with independent Greeks in it, in the yeah. government, in the majority? That's be be best uh, case scenario, but it's still ugly, I think. And given the disillusionment right now, given the nihilism about politics, um, given, you know, the, the Tina, there is no alternative. That uh, the Greek people hear everyone saying there is no alternative. Well, trouble is, if there is no, alter uh, the, if, if there is no alternative, there is no politics. And this disillusionment is likely to bring ugly things. We could see political uh, teratogenesis, you know, monsters being born, political monsters. Mm -hmm. and, and the question is, how can you do politics right now? You know, this, when this momentum from the part of the people towards radical politics, this um, decisiveness, you know, once destroyed, it's difficult to be regained. And we should, the, the, the main issue is how you can regain this uh, radical momentum. Uh, now, let, the part let of me, the people. precisely on that, let me ask you, popular unity, okay, we're, we're most interested in them for some reason. Um, the question then is, are they saying no austerity, go back to the drachma? Is that their exactly. line? Exactly, exactly. So they say it. All right, fine. That's no dignified. Uh, you know, create, create liquidity, cheap liquidity for production. They say oh. this, it's exactly like the program that we've talked about again and again. Oh, well, send us something about that. Send us yeah. something about that. Okay. Yeah. Thanks to Michael Chiotinas in Athens. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to our second hour on the World Crisis Radio Show. Webster Tarpley here in Washington, D.C. So um, that's a very interesting uh, initiative there, right? The Russian uh, election monitors. And now this, this issue will loom large next year, right? Reactionary Republicans, remember... Karl Rove and his plan, which succeeded in 2004 with the red shift, and then his plan for 2008, which was disrupted by hiring some hackers, as we heard on the other side. So the Open Alliance of Election Monitors, that's uh, quite important. Now, we, gotta, we want to get on to some uh, counterintelligence, but uh, before we do... Let's also uh, be aware of this question of the cooked intelligence concerning ISIS. Now, let's just put this into perspective. Uh, Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov, assuming, I think, the status of spokesman for humanity and the civilized world, Lavrov has put out a call, I would say, in the spirit of that great Foreign Minister Gorchakov back in the 1860s, who was such a great friend to the United States, without whose help the United States might not even exist today. Lavrov has put out a call to all civilized states to assist Syria, to assist the Syrian Arab Republic under its elected president, uh, Bashar al-Assad, to fight the ISIS terrorists, to fight the ISIS butchers. I get whining emails from people saying, how dare you want to bomb ISIS? Boy, believe me, if ISIS were coming after you, you'd want to bomb them too. That's pure hypocrisy. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that would have said, don't, uh, don't die for Danzig in, uh, in World War II. In other words, pro-fascist thinking. Uh, it's like the Frankenstein's monster, right? You can say, yeah, ISIS was created by Western intelligence agencies. Yeah, so was Hitler. Now they're there. What are you going to do about it? You've got to fight them. So um, I would also like to recall my own visit to a Syrian military hospital in November 2011. And as I told those uh, brave soldiers who were convalescing, laid up in the hospital, and their families that were often there, those guys are in the front line of the fight for civilization. That was true, certainly, in November 2011, when we were just dealing with the normal conjuries of Saudi-funded, Turkish-equipped terrorist rebels, having been shipped over from Libya 
by that airlift in which, unfortunately, Ambassador Stevens was implicated in the last weeks and months of his life, uh, the Syrian Arab army is the front line in the fight for civilization. And uh, Allen won't admit it, and uh, neither will McGurk, but that's the truth. The other thing, we just touched on it in our Greek interview, uh, the United States is pressuring countries to sabotage Russian humanitarian aid flights because they might also have some weapons in them. Well, this is absolutely ridiculous. Both are needed and both are legitimate. <laughs> Bulgaria, I'll have to remind you, uh, back in the days of the Warsaw Pact, Bulgaria was famous for its servility. They were more than any other East Bloc country. Bulgaria was willing to follow orders. I remember reading once in the Italian press the question, is Italy the Bulgarians of NATO? I Bulgari della NATO. Uh, and Italy didn't want to be the Bulgarians of NATO, but now Bulgarians are the, uh, <laughs> the Bulgarians are the Bulgarians of NATO. Uh, Greece is putting up some uh, resistance. Turkey, of course, sabotaging everything. Iran, I believe, open to these humanitarian uh, flights. So we're going to be going with the cause of humanity on this one and civilization. And for the moment, that seems to be Putin and Lavrov. Uh, and that's the way it is. Now, concerning the cooking of the intelligence, we got uh, – our dear friend, the ISIS Zan czar, John Allen, and we've been calling for him to be ousted. Uh, we've got this uh, story uh, about the uh, cooking of the intelligence. Now, let me see if I can find this, uh, this thing for you here. Uh, it's basically the idea that over the period of months uh, that has now gone by, we've got um, – We've got the cooking of the intelligence. In other words, the intelligence has been systematically falsified. This includes stuff going directly to Obama, right? Things that Obama reads, gets briefed on, and so forth. Uh, and uh, this, in, in my mind, it obviously implicates Allen. The, uh, the way that this has been handled by many news uh, organizations is they don't say it's obvious that the intelligence has been cooked to conform to the wishes of Allen and McGurk at any given time. But what they do say in most of these articles that I've seen, or at least in many of them, is that in Aspen, Colorado, at the end of July, Allen was preaching that ISIS was being defeated. ISIS is getting whipped. ISIS is losing, the famous quote from Allen. Now, um, we know that... Uh, Allen is a wily intriguer, uh, and what he's uh, what he's doing is now he's he's essentially gone into this contortionist pose, where he's um, he's making it all um, what can we say? He's taking opposite positions, right? At the end of at the end of July, Allen is saying ISIS is losing. Then we have him yesterday for the uh, September 10th, the anniversary of the foundation of the anti-ISIS coalition. He comes on CNN with Jake Tapper, and he says this is going to be a multi-year, a multi-year struggle. It's going to go on forever. This was the line from McGurk on one of the Sunday shows a little bit uh, earlier. Uh, so the question is, hey, which is it? Well, Alan can do it both ways. Alan says uh, ISIS is losing. Then he says it's going to be a multi-year struggle because, of course, he says, look at all the defeats that ISIS has had. These are mainly the Kurds uh, defeating them. Look, all, look at all that border area that they've, uh, that they've lost. So, uh, you know, um, this is, uh, this is the, uh, the, the, the evasive action by Allen. He can't, he can't seem to, uh, to come to a conclusion because he doesn't want to. He wants to be a moving – uh, target. So uh, now here's the thing. Clapper. We have some stuff in the Daily Beast about Clapper. Uh, Clapper being the intelligent czar, I guess, of the United States. Uh, Clapper is now being, uh, uh, they're being accused, he's being accused of uh, being in touch 
with a brigadier general deep in the bowels of the uh, intelligence division of 